In a dazzling display of governmental prowess, Congress has managed to avert an impending shutdown crisis, well, sort of. Over the weekend, lawmakers reached an agreement on top-line spending, showing that when they put their minds to it, they can almost act like responsible adults deciding how to spend the colossal amount of money they collect from taxpayers. But fear not, dear citizens. Even if the Capitol Hill crew can't figure out how to divvy up the cash before their next deadline, approximately 67 million Americans relying on Social Security need not fret. Max Richtman, the president and CEO of the National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare, has graciously assured us that the all-important monthly benefit checks are safe. It's almost like a financial superhero swooping in to rescue us from the impending doom of a checklist existence. Richtman, the bearer of good news, reveals that people's most pressing concern is, are we going to get our check? He then unveils the shocking answer, brace yourselves, yes. What a relief. It's heartening to know that even in the face of bureaucratic bumbling and political posturing, our cherished monthly stipends are secure. A collective sigh of relief echoes across the nation. Now, let's talk about those pesky fiscal deadlines. January 19th and February 2nd are the dates circled in red on Congress's calendar, where they need to agree on spending bills before the financial world collapses. The suspense is killing us. It's like waiting for the grand finale of a reality show, only instead of roses and dramatic exits, it's about billions and trillions of dollars. Andrew Lautz, a senior policy analyst at the Bipartisan Policy Center, warns us that we may not notice the chaos immediately. Apparently, it takes a week or two for the average American to feel the effects of a shutdown, as if our lives aren't already chaotic enough. Rolling basis disruptions are expected, like a slow-motion train wreck that we can't look away from. Social Security, our reliable financial guardian, has plans in case Congress decides to play hooky on budget discussions. Some activities will continue, like applying for benefits or getting those coveted Social Security cards. However, other less critical services, such as benefit verifications or replacement Medicare cards, might have to take a back seat. After all, we can't have everything during a government shutdown, that would be downright extravagant. But hold your horses. The real drama unfolds as we peek behind the curtain of Social Security funding. President Biden asked for a bit more pocket money, $1.4 billion more, to be precise, while House Republicans want to tighten the agency's belt. Current negotiations seem to suggest that Social Security might end up with the same funding it had before despite reports of outdated technology and long waiting times. It's like expecting a gourmet meal and getting a reheated TV dinner. Rickman, our truth-telling guide through this bureaucratic circus, points out the hypocrisy of lawmakers. Apparently, they complain about constituents struggling to reach Social Security or obtain replacement cards while conveniently forgetting to allocate enough funds for the agency to, you know, function classic move, Congress, complain about the problem you're perpetuating. So, as the suspense builds and the circus music plays, we'll eagerly await the next episode of Congressional Budget Battles, will they or won't they? Will our heroes manage to agree on spending before the deadlines, or will we be left hanging without replacement Medicare cards? Stay tuned for the thrilling conclusion, or not. It's Congress, after all. <laughs>